What is up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today, it is... Um, I forgot to push the button on hole one. <laughs> and so, you'll see everything except for the drive. It's a putter, Highland putter review. Playing with the dynamic discs. Uh, classic judge. Hope you enjoy. On to the video. I was hoping I wouldn't have to try this forehand out until a little bit later. Okay, it's got some nice stability to it. I didn't actually get to see how it flew from the first throw. Let's see if we can make like a 40 footer. There we go. At least we made a par. Hole two, 230. It did seem to have some nice stability even on a forehand. So I'm gonna try to throw it pretty flat and see if we can fade it, let it fade over towards the basket. Okay, my, I thought I threw that flat. I'll have to look at the footage. I thought I threw it flat. It might just, it might be like a negative one, one disc. We'll see. I'm really putting my test, my putting to the test this morning. Ooh. I almost made it that time. Don't skip it off the flat top. My putt has been so much more line drive recently. I kind of like it though. Hole number three, 290. I kind of want to throw, this one's really, it's really stiff plastic, this classic Supreme. I almost want to throw it on a forehand for this hole and just see. Let's just test it, see what happens. Buttery. Okay. So, judge. Very, very smooth. Little flip up, fade back. Very nice on a forehand. So, uh, classic Supreme Judge, forehand, park job. Might be a disc I have to check out. This is actually the first time I've ever thrown a Judge. And I'm not upset. A lot of times beaded putters make me upset and I kind of like this one. Mm. Let's go see how she flies on another forehand. Classic Supreme Judge is a standout putter because I didn't think I could do this with a lot of putters and it's actually working out really well. Going with the forehand because mulch pile, I want to get up and over and still come back. Um, 218. Let's give it a little bit turn, see what happens. Okay, that's the thing that happens that I don't like about a lot of these beaded putters is it wasn't a perfect clean release and then it did hook on my finger and kind of rolled off. So probably good on hyzer releases, probably not good on turnover forehands. Good to note. Okay. There's a lot of elevation on this course. And even the fairway that used to be flat now has just bounds of mulch everywhere. It makes it weird to play. Not difficult, just weird. Hole five, 230. Yeah, 230. It's not the blue and you can see super long. It's red and it's tucked around to the right. So I'm gonna throw Serene Judge on a forehand and we will uh, test theory if Heiser works better than Anheuser. I would say that Heiser forehands with a judge work really well. Anheuser forehands have more of a tendency to get stuck on your finger from the three forehands that I've done with judges. <laughs> Let's see if the judge can keep the hot streak up. Nope. Knew it. 
I felt it come off my hand early. A hot streak did not continue. Got another par, but we have hole number six here. Hundred and no, 260 feet. Let's see how straight we can make this fly down a tunnel. I don't know if it's just that it's a little bit used or the putter plastic or if the judge is just a naturally neutral to somewhat understable disc but that judge on a backhand is actually rolling for me and that's not what I was expecting. Oh, I gotta save a part or a, I'm gonna try to make a birdie from back here but it's just a weird part of this hole. Had enough height, I think, but yeah. Something about that bead is coming off my hand weird this morning or wrong. It's just not coming off my hand with the pop that those beads normally do. Hmm. Hole seven, 217. Let's just see if a little bit of hyzer on a backhand is all that the judge needed. Let's just, yeah, let's see. Okay, yeah, that was it. It needed a little bit of hyzer, stand up. That's the thing, I find a lot of different disc manufacturers. Some of them are more geared towards hyzer players and some of them are more geared towards anhyzer release throwers. Um, I think Discraft is one of those that's a little bit more geared towards the hyzer release. And I think most of the discs I've thrown from D Dynamic Knit Discs and a lot of the Trilogy lineup are geared more towards the Heiser release as far as their flight numbers are concerned. Something to, th something to think about. Interesting. And it's still rolling. It's still rolling away. Finally fell. All right, I think what the play is here is just forehand. If it goes in, perfect. If not, let's try to save a bogey. Man, that was almost it. Okay, easy bogey on the hole eight. Hole eight, 199. This judge is an anomaly. I have never found a disc, especially a putter, that goes better where I want it to on a forehand than where I want it to on a backhand. It's so weird. Gonna throw this one on backhand, maybe fan grip it a little bit, try to put it into the hillside, let it skip towards the basket. Kind of exactly what I said. And I fan gripped it, and it kind of still kind of went to the right a little bit. Which is really interesting that it would be like a perfect forehand disc, but it can't handle the stability even of a fan grip. That's so interesting. Supreme judge time. I'm so worried about it. Why? Why why can't I do it today? It's not working. Hold on. Playing to the basket up on the right. Throwing a judge on a forehand for the last time. Fly true. Go in the basket. Um, is it okay if I change the course for one day and just play to the blue basket instead? <laughs> to be fair to all the putters, I'm playing this one to the red basket, even though the blue one's like 30 feet over there. Okay, 
That's parked for a par. Oh, I don't even remember. I don't remember what I finished out with this one. I think it's even. Sounds about right. Um, for myself, this is a super unique putter and um, I don't think I'm gonna be bagging a judge anytime soon, but it had some unique qualities, flight qualities and characteristics to it that you don't often see from putters. Um, yeah, it might be something interesting to, cool, to be uh, cool and check out. If you want any of these judges looking in for any cool new discs, go ahead and check out another round Asheville. And if you wanna see more content like this, like, comment, subscribe down, like and subscribe, comment down below what you wanna see next. Until next time guys, See you out on the course. Shows you where you're just going. Oh no! Oh no! I thought they were like an ultimate player. <laughs> I was like, you got that wind coming too. Yeah. I was wondering if it was gonna knock it to the right.